So today I'm going to show you something completely different and that is about that engine thing is right there that um, it is all covered up because we've been working on it this engine is getting a crankshaft replacement the crankshaft is right here a new crankshaft but in this case it is just getting a crankshaft replacement which means then the engine is all together see everything is completely on place uh, one on the uh, one of the main bearings suffered a damage see here we have the damage of the main bearing in this case was main bearing number seven and is already fixed today i'm going to talk about how it's like to fix an engine then suffer a damage like this one main bearing damage the crankshaft is going to be installed and engine still have the pistons see we have the pistons the connecting rods on, on all the cylinders uh, it is just to remove the main bearings caps and place the new crankshaft but here I'm going to show you how this was repaired so to repair the main bearing cap and the main bearing uh, seat from the engine block this area right here so it requires a different type of labor a different type of tools in this case here you can see then this person right here is working on repairing it, the engine this is the way they do it before continuing the video i will let you know then this doesn't mean this is how everybody does this job this is the way this person does these repairs probably in some areas the repair can be done differently but in this case this is the way this person does it in this case uh the main bearing number seven is getting a repair and this means that the main cap is getting uh, adjusted to specifications as you can see here which is not something that i would like to see the, this way but this is the way this person does it He's been doing this for a while, so I trust him, and this is the way he does it. So, um, once uh, the main bearing cap is adjusted to to specification how this person wants it, because in this case it's gonna cut it to the specification of the main bearing, because in this case we're gonna be using standard main bearings. We are not going to use oversized main bearings. We are going to use a standard main bearing so this person is just going to cut it to the specifications so that way the main bearing sits perfectly with the main bearing cap and the tolerance with the new crankshaft stays standard and uh once this one is cut to the right uh, specification um all the main bearing caps they are going to get torque to specifications too so each individual bolt is going to receive 180 pounds plus 180 degrees which is going to equal around like 400 500 pounds of torque and um and you can see the result of the repair completely soft now what is left here is to install the crankshaft and measure the tolerance between the crankshaft bearing the main bearing and the crankshaft to see how much tolerance we have and we have to measure all of these two to see if we are within specifications especially on the main cap number seven which is that one that will be the uh, the repair the process to follow to get the proper repair in case something goes wrong we can identify it before putting the engine together or starting the engine because if we start the engine and there is a damage we can get it we can damage it 
is the, the new crankshaft and that will be a big problem but remember i'm telling you in this way um the crankshaft is getting replaced but this is not the only way i show many of many different videos uh in my channel how to replace a crankshaft in the majority of these videos you see the engine completely apart but in this case the engine is not completely apart it's all together because we are just replacing the crankshaft but in many occasions we do remove the crankshaft but we also do a uh, engine overhaul at the same time that's the reason why but it is possible to replace the crankshaft without removing the, the uh, uh, disassembling the engine completely i will say then if you want to do an engine overhaul in a crankshaft replacement at the same time it will save you well somehow some money actually it's going to be more expensive because all together it's going to be very expensive but it's going to save you some money because labor labor wise is going to be cheaper because it's going to be one labor now if you are looking to replace just the crankshaft here you have it it is possible to replace the crankshaft without removing or disassembling the engine completely one thing you have to keep on mind and that is then the engine has to be removed from the truck the engine cannot be seated inside the truck and then replace the crankshaft engine has to come out that is mandatory there's no no way you can do it inside the crunch i mean the 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 truck the vehicle because we have different components in the front then allow the doesn't allow the engine i mean the crankshaft to come out and we also have components on the back that's the reason why this has to be removed now this is just the explanation about this and showing you that it's possible to replace the crankshaft without this, uh, disassembling the engine completely and you can see then the engine is going to get different type of i mean the crankshaft main bearing cap is going to get different cuts in different levels and this is going to be a repetitive process uh it's going to be a repetitive process and it's going to continue the same until we get in the tolerance that we need to see the new crankshaft bearing that way we get the tolerance but that doesn't mean then it's going to be 100 percent perfect that is the reason why we have to measure the tolerance on the main cab number seven and on the rest and see if we are getting equal or similar um, or similar equal or similar uh, measurements for all of them if that is what we're getting then we can put everything together so it's so simple now because the crankshaft gotta go in and here the rod bearings um, can be replaced pretty easy you install the new bearing and that's it i have a video showing you how to do the main bearings without removing the crankshaft i have a video so that way you can see that and get the idea but this is pretty much the basic on how it's like and i hope then this video answer many questions and probably you can have and if it doesn't if the video doesn't answer those questions uh, please go to the comment section below there you can leave any type of questions or recommendations or suggestions or also you can leave if you do this job preparing machine shop you know preparing engines in different ways uh, you can comment below and give your opinions on how it's done in different ways machine shop machining is not my job but i like to see how it's done i think everybody likes to see how it's done and if you do it you can comment below and share your experience your opinions or everything else then could be helpful for us about this topic right here so go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube share the video like it and thank you for watching